Hello everyone, Ryan Salins here. Um, I wasn't really going to plan on doing a video today, but maybe I'm getting addicted to this now that I've actually started it. It's kind of interesting. Um, but I was kind of inspired to because I was going through Googling my name. Um, I'm not narcissistic. Well, maybe sometimes I am, but I sometimes just Google my name just to see what's been posted where. Uh, because after being protested by the Westboro Baptist Church and having my site or my name and picture and story put up on some anti supremacist website, I just kind of like to know uh, what's being said just for my own safety. Uh, and typically, when I see harsh things being said about me from communities that are on the extremist ends, I really don't think too much about it. In fact, when stories are done about me in newspapers or uh, other places, I never read the comments because uh, even if there's only one negative comment there, it can still hurt. But today, I think a, uh, I felt a little bit of a stench just because I found someone commenting on a genderqueer site uh, about me and it just upset me because I don't understand why individuals and communities want to oppress each other. I don't understand why we're trying to set up hierarchies. I don't understand why we attack each other uh, with name calling or trying to really minimize each and each experience. Uh, I do understand that I fall more within the masculine realms of the continuum uh, when we look at gender identity and gender expression uh, or some people like to look at, at it more as a web so that you're not uh, enforcing that there's still this male female at the ends of these continuums and enforcing that binary um, but you know what my story is my story uh, when I'm represented on TV I can't control what's been edited I can't control the questions that are asked uh, but it's a big thing for individuals to be able to be on TV in the first place especially in the trans community and especially for F to M's or more masculine identified individuals because typically our voices are silent um, in fact the first Larry King live uh, F taping that I did they had only M to F's on the panel until the therapist Marlene Volker said you know you need to have more representation there and that's when they contacted me and that was it that's a huge step for them uh, I think a huge step to have our, our images being put out there um, I just want to encourage people when you're going through wherever you're going through with your identity exploration and whatever you decide to do as far as either transitioning or uh, not using hormones or not doing surgeries it's one honor yourself and two respect other people as well um, I you know it hurts when I see people in the community refer to my stories being oversimplified uh, or calling me some bull dyke turned male because that's not who I am at all and my story just like any of our stories is not not oversimplified there's lots of challenges to all of us uh, so stay tr strong with yourself and please respect others uh, and let's let's all work together to make this a better planet and a, and a safer space for all of our identities um, take care everyone be safe in the next couple weeks, um, and when you're feeling sad, reach out. Please reach out. Okay, thank you. Bye.